What's going on guys? It's our favorite time of the month. It is the product review. Whenever you say like time of the month, I think of period and I was like, that is not our favorite time of the month. We got a bunch of pretty good stuff here. I would say not all of these were sent to us. Some of these we went out and bought because they were like interesting. Two. This is one that we bought in stores. A lot of you have said it's really good. So we tried these on a product review before, smart cakes. And we get them frequently. During my pregnancy, I was, I was slamming those. And so they have another product under the smart company, smart buns. And these are like hamburger buns. It has sesame seeds on it. It's supposed to be like a sesame seed bun. 63 calories, three fat, 15 total carbs, 11 fiber, four erythritol, hmm. and nine protein. So that's one net carb per bun. A fiber blend of oat fiber, corn fiber, and flax. And you can see the flax, eggs, erythritol, whey protein, egg whites, sunflower oil. Oh, you're just biting it like there's, it's a burger, but no burger. It's not bad. It already tastes like a hamburger. I'm wondering how this would withhold like a juicy meat of some kind. It'd be soggy. It's a little dry. It's dry too, yeah. So when we actually found them in stores, we made an Instagram story and um, someone DM'd us and said they're really crumbly. That's really good. It's not really good. I'd give I give it like a six out of 10. I mean, that's our first hamburger bun we've tried that's keto. Next up, we got Atlas Protein Bars. If you're wondering, they're adaptogen powered superfood nutrition. Because traditional Whoa. keto protein bars are higher fat than protein, but I believe the macros are actually of a protein bar. Whenever I see something new like this and the packaging is just like so on point, they know what they're doing too much. It's gonna be like they're cutting no, all they're, the corners. No, they're marketers, they're yeah. not food developers. They're cutting all the corners. But that this is just like thought. a ton of packaging. Like just give me a simple box that I can fold into and put in my trash. I mean, I think we should also appreciate a good well-made product, right? So there's vanilla almond chai, chocolate peanut butter, mint almond chocolate chip, and chocolate cacao. 22 carb, 10 fiber, seven vegetable glycerin, which I guess is like also fiber, I think. I don't know exactly how it works. I think it's like somewhere in between a fiber and a sugar alcohol. I don't know. There's ashwagandha and mac maca root in it. Oh, that's the add Adaptogen Superfood Performance Blend. And all the bars range four to five net carbs. They're just doing way too much, I think. It's pretty. It looks like, almost like a Quest bar. It feels like a Quest bar too. Yeah, it does. I think people yeah. are just trying to do the Quest bar game, but different macros. Yeah, a little chalky, but in a good way. That's pretty delicious. I'm gonna say, I mean, this one's not. Very chalky and dry. I wouldn't use the word delicious at all. I think it's one of those like weird foods that like I crave, you know? Yeah, it's exactly. Not, it's not That's off the bat tasty. Like I'm not gonna buy these and I'm not probably not gonna eat them for their taste and deliciousness, but it might be like, whoa, Atlas bar. I could have one of those, you know? I wanna jump back to the bun. I didn't rate it. I'm gonna give the bun like a seven and a half, eight out of 10. And then what are you gonna give the bars? On a scale of all the bars, and we've tried a lot. Like a five. I'm going four. You said delicious? Yeah, I mean it has. You just don't know any a lot of words if you're using delicious. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe a beautiful low carb muffin cake thing can cleanse your palate. Bushel full of little mini loaves they were and sent cakes. In a, they were sent in a box, not a plastic a bag. bag. Low carb Lenore. So there's one, two, there's seven flavors here. Okay. Orange, raspberry. This looks like blueberry. Orange, blueberry, pumpkin, and coffee. I think I want to try blueberry, or what's this one? I'm gonna try pumpkin. I think it's mostly, I would call it like a muffin or like a pound cake maybe. What does she call it? So yeah, it's like a little mini loaf. This is a good, good serving. Should you, you be grease greasing it? these? Yeah. So you're losing a lot of cake there. You can eat that though, just skim your teeth against it. Yeah, that, very moist. That entire cake, 293 calories, 24 grams of fat, 11 protein, and then 20 total carbs, four fiber, 12 sugar alcohols, four net carbs. She's using canola oil though. Now I'm mad I put it in my mouth. Why is she using canola oil? It's cheaper. Huge drawback right there. So taste wise, it's pretty good. It's not great though. Like it's not gonna blow your mind, mm -mm. but the moistness. You could, I could make these at home and they'd be like better because I could play with the flavors could and you? it'd be moister. You should make these at home then. I tried this. Our blueberry muffin recipe on our food blog, ketoconnect.net. Tastes like that. No, it's a hundred times better, better than this. It's softer, it's moister, and better ingredients because it doesn't have canola oil. When it comes to a product like this, we like to keep them in the fridge. We'll keep them as long as they'll last. And like, you know, if we have a snack, snack night or a on. movie night, we will consume them. But with the canola oil being in them, are we gonna keep them? No. I'm gonna say no too. Like we're just actually gonna have to 
Unfortunately, I throw these out. Um, or give them to someone. Yeah, Nico, our neighbor. Really, yeah, I don't even really like giving it to people, though, because I don't like subconsciously poisoning people. Yeah. Not like, even subconscious, like we, actually. We tell our pe family not to use, like... Yeah, like I wouldn't oils. really give these to my mom even. Yeah. Maybe I'm just extreme though. This is the second product we purchased. Chompies. In Sprouts. And Sprouts is nationwide. So if you have a Sprouts near you, you can get this bread. We've heard really good things. A lot of people have asked about it and we're finally trying it. It looks good. It doesn't actually look very good. The ingredients are well, terrible. Just looking at the bread loaf. The it's, bread looks good. It's a good. big bread loaf. Vital wheat gluten, soy flour. What are you oh, doing? Oh dang. What's happening over there? Wheat bran, unbleached wheat flour, sesame seeds. How is this even low carb? I guess it's just really low calorie. That's why it's low carb. Cause it's it only 66 calories per slice. It's three carbs and two fiber. So one net carb per slice. Soybean oil. This is, this is just oh, terrible. Wow ingredients feel substantial it smells like multi-grain bread for 66 calories this is a substantial slice of bread it's dense though it's not even like light like bread it's dense it smells yeasty too they must yeah, there's yeah i yeast. guess with the wheat gluten you can get it to rise one of the best breads i've tried i think no. what am i tasting soy flour what is that weird taste like the grains i think like the multi-grain aspect of it that is a really bad taste in my mouth i like it it's like a multi-grain bread i think local lc foods Great low carb bread company. Are those are better? Yeah, I guess those are better. I is maybe it's the soy flour. It's a weird taste to me. I wouldn't buy it just because the ingredients, but it like say this was made with really ingredient. good ingredients. I would eat this every single day. It's yeah, great. So would I. I like the taste of it, especially if you put it in a sandwich. Yeah. So if you're sandwich toasted with like butter and cinnamon, yum. What are we supposed to do with these? Show them. We've had these before. Noodles. Noodles have, they're like supposed to be ramen. Noodles. And they have a packet of seasoning and oil in it. So the noodles are just cognac fiber noodle, noodles. So any miracle noodles. Miracle noodles. Basically. It's exactly, it has like the packet and the oil in there. Yeah, it's like the, a ramen. I don't know, the whole thing with ramen noodles, like the individual packets is like it's 10 cents each and mm -hmm. you're a college student. This I'm assuming is like, you know, a couple dollars, probably even like five. So I don't know that I would be eating this, but maybe I would, we should have made it. We're back. So you add water and then what I liked is there's three different packets. So one is the sauce packet, one is like the veggies packet, dried veggies, and then one is the seasoning. So you can like opt to add your own seasoning or whatever. The thing is it doesn't stick to the noodles at all like it would with normal ramen noodles. Yeah. And why is there like five kernels of corn? That's not adding any flavor. Why would you even put that in? Well, does it like take on the oil and stuff? Okay. I'm actually very impressed with those. Wow. Those are phenomenal. I didn't expect that. Cause all I did was drain. I didn't even like rinse off the noodles and usually cognac, like miracle noodles, cognac noodles, like yeah. they have a taste. It takes on the oil seasoning packet really well. Cause this one has flavor enhancer. I don't think this one has that. This one doesn't have MSG actually. It doesn't? No, that's mm -hmm. really good. It's five total carbs or no, five net carbs, nine total four fiber. If I was going to make this, I would like add chicken to it. Or like some meat. I would say, man, if you guys are missing noodles and stuff, ramen at least. I've never seen anything replace real noodles as close as this does for keto. You can get it on Amazon too. A nine out of 10, eight out of 10. We're winding down here. We're gonna move here. Keto fix, 12 grams of protein. Excellent source of protein. Claiming to be three net carbs. Two grams of sugar. We got one flavor here. It looks like premium chocolate coconut. You're looking at 15 fat, 12 protein, 14 total carbs, nine fiber, only two sugar alcohols. I'm liking that. The ingredients look legit too. Organic almond butter, grass fed whey, chicory root fiber, organic coconut almonds. Ingredients are not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. They're better than the Atlas bar. Yeah, way better. Another Quest bar protege it looks like here. A very different consistency than I expected. It's like a mixture of chewy, and hard and chalky. Yeah. I don't know what to make of it really. It just it's tastes like, like coconut. Yeah, a lot of coconut. It's not like, I like blowing it. me away with flavor. You said delicious for Atlas bar. This- Okay, let me compare. Atlas this bar. This is delicious compared to Atlas. I'm going back to Atlas bar here. Yeah, that one objectively tastes better. There's something about the consistency to that one is just more like substantial. Cause neither just of these all taste- all the ingredients. Yeah, could be. Neither of these taste that good. So to me, if this one is a lot better in the consistency and the texture, I like it better because the flavors are not that good in either. Oh, I'm going based, ingredients are better. I'm, that's ingredients one. are better too. Yeah. That's more important to me than taste, yeah. I think. If we had to buy one. I'd buy those. A hundred percent hands down. I'd actually, I really like these. Yeah. Um, I would give that like a, a five and a half. Okay, so we got these weird jarred marinades. Reggae, Reggae spice. spice. Perhaps up to 40 pounds of meat, really? 
In this little jar? It's not terrible, but yeah, there's like melted dextrin, brown sugar. Whole wheat flour in the purpose seasoning. Oh my gosh, oh, so spicy. You're supposed to dilute that, I think. Look at how thick that is. This tastes pretty good though. I could see it being... Holy shit, yeah. Contains habanero peppers. I just ate a pound of chicken worth of spice. Good flavor though. Yeah. But I don't do spicy like that. We got sea snacks. Premium roasted seaweed snack. I don't want lime, get a good flavor. Barbecue. Okay. So a lot of times with these seaweed snacks, you want to look for if there's any other oils added to them. Sometimes there will be. So with these, it's extra virgin olive oil. So that's, that's decent. Half a pack is a serving size? Why would you only need half a pack? Sometimes these will have soybean or canola oil in them. You want to avoid those, I would say. Matt used to eat these a lot. So I'm never eating that. I like it. Tastes good. You can't mask the seaweed flavor with any seasoning. Like there's no barbecue. Yeah, meat. it's not really barbecue. It's sushi wrapper. So like I'd eat it with like riceless sushi. Or like sashimi if we You could even chop it up and put it on like some salmon or something. Yeah. Last product, but not least, we kind of forgot. So we're gonna show you right now. This is Fat Fit Go. So I've seen these guys on like Instagram, um, but never tried them. So they have two squeeze pouches. They have chocolate, strawberry, lime, and then they have some cookies. I've eaten one of each flavor of cookies. So Matt's already tried all these. I items. like them. I have not. And then they have chocolate chips. So mini chocolate chips. I'm going to try this strawberry lime pouch because chocolate's pretty standard, right? Almonds, macadamia nuts, cocoa butter, MCT oil, erythritol, strawberries, stevia, and lime oil. Lime oil. That sounds interesting. Mmm. Wow. I'm impressed. Unexpectedly really good. Pretty good. I don't think I love it. And then they have four cookies here. Cinnamon roll, double chocolate, chocolate chip, and orange raspberry. So the cookies were really good. They're soft batch. That's Are you going to try called. one? Yeah, which one should I try? One cookie is 180 calories and two net carbs. It's 15 fat, five protein, and then 16 total carbs, three fiber, and 10 allulose. So allulose is a sweetener. Um, that tastes the most like sugar. It's like the closest to sugar. Mm, okay. It's not the best, but the texture is really good and it's like dense. I feel like if I ate this whole thing, I'd be satisfied and it's really filling. I like the cookies because they're really substantial and filling. Fat fit go, yeah. Matt would just like have one of these after dinner and then you'd be like good, right? That's it. Do we have winners? We don't really have much winners here. Mm, you like the noodles. That was probably the biggest surprise, the noodles. I like the hamburger bun, the smart bun. And I like the keto fix if we're gonna go for a bar. I don't love it. So just the noodles. Just the noodles. I and the smart right. bun, what I don't like is it's 15 carbs and 14 fiber. I have a surprise video coming in the next few weeks, guys. Mega doesn't even know about it. Oh, the big losers. Um, everything was just kind of middle of the road this I time. I think the losers are just based on ingredients. So like the chompy's ingredients are losing to me. Terrible, yeah. The canola oil in those cakes is just a loser to me. Like if you're gonna do something low carb and keto, like at least do some research and understand like maybe there's a good portion of people that aren't consuming canola oil. Well, there's but, also a good portion of people that don't care. Yeah, the majority I would say don't care. So yeah, I wouldn't put this in a loser category. I would I just say think. that ingredient. If it weren't for that ingredient, they're good. We would keep them, we would eat them. All right guys, that's it. We'll be back next month.